Today we're going to be talking about advanced file management in Blueprints. So the nodes we're going to be using in this demonstration are from the Fileman plugin, which is available in the description for purchase. There's a basic free version I'll also link to, but it doesn't have all the nodes I'm going to be covering in this video today. So as you can see right here, I have a, well, on my right side I have a file, the actual file manager. On the left side I have my blueprint. What we're going to do first is look in the plugin and then we're going to see what nodes we actually have. Um, it's right here. <laughs> so we have directory nodes, we have file nodes, and we have some several different INI configuration nodes. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a directory, and this directory is going to appear right in here. We know that because we're going to get our project directory, which in this plugin is called the main directory. You can also get the project directory, it doesn't really matter. And we'll append the actual name of the folder we want to do. We'll call the name of the folder my folder, and then this will return true if it does it. Uh, we'll just hit play and watch this on this side create the folder. Of course this covers it up, but if you see on the right, it just created my folder. All right, so I've just put the file manager down at the bottom, so hopefully now when I run the game it doesn't cover up, so you can actually see what's going on down here. It doesn't cover up everything, it covers up a little bit, but still that's kind of annoying that it does that. Anyway, um, so we created our directory, what's next? We're going to go ahead and put something inside the directory. So uh, inside the folder what we'll do is we'll add a, we'll just create a file. Type create file, in path, that's our path, the file name will be hello.txt and before I get too into it make sure the end of your path has that little slash so this comes up correctly I hit play we wait there's our hello.txt a blank text file with nothing inside of it well we're gonna go ahead and write some stuff inside of it so here's how we'll do that we're actually gonna create this file from an array so essentially we could just write the file this way or we could say array to file and I'm doing it this way just to kinda of demonstrate some things that um, in a bit of a different way so the file name is hello.txt, we connect, we'll make the array, make a couple things in here, hello, this is a test. We go ahead and hit play, we click, hello this is a test, right here. Then we can also read the file too. So. Actually, let's just do this. We'll connect a print string, read file, get our content, and we we'll click play. Hello, this is a test right here. Next up, we're going to delete the file. So delete the file, delete the file name, hit play. We wait a bit, it deletes the file. It is now gone. Now, be careful using these delete tools. I'm going to show you one of the reasons why I say to be careful with this before I proceed. So I'm going to delete this folder, which is called Hello. It's got um, it's got HTML, it's got text, it's got a couple things inside of it. Uh, and if I also put some subfolders in here, uh, we're going to delete this folder, and it's going to delete every single thing inside of it. Uh, and I say to be careful because I don't know. I'm sure that there's I'm sure there's some hostile things you can do with that. I haven't really played with it because I don't want to break my computer, but I'm sure you can probably ruin a lot of things with this function, but delete directory is going to be the next node we talk about. The directory is going to be called, well, it's the main directory, and then hello, this is the folder name. We go ahead and do that, and we click play. It is now gone. Every single one of those files is now gone. That folder is now gone. Um, so that's probably a good reason to be careful with this. Make sure that you put the correct path into here before you ruin things. I don't even know what happens if you disconnect it. I haven't tested this. I don't want to test this. I'm afraid it's going to delete everything. I don't think it will. You can test it if you want to on a virtual machine. I don't want to do it, so be careful. <laughs> but anyway, on that note, there's a lot of cool functions in here that I encourage you to try out. I also encourage you to at least check it out and see if you like it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this, probably with game saving, also some configuration saving and stuff like this. Just a couple things the engine doesn't have built into it for blueprints that I think are some generally useful things you can use it with. But anyway guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to check out the Fileman Advanced plugin, and I'll see you guys next time.